Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will make PHP registration system with email verification feature by using one time password. Mainly, we have seen OTP or one time password has been used for two step authentication for verify user login details. But here, we will use one time password functionality for verify email address at the time of registration process. So, here we can see that registration form on web page. So here first fill this registration details. Once we have filled registration form, now we have click on register button. After click on register button, then page has redirect to another page. And on this page, it has asked for enter your one time password. So for this OTP, first we have go to our email address. And here in email inbox, we can see email verification email has been received. And under this email, here we can see OTP number. So, we have copied this number. And go to web page. And here we have paste that number and click on verify button. After click on verify button. Here we can see success message like, your email has been successfully verified. So in this video tutorial, we will learn, how to verify email address by using OTP method, at the time of registration. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database, and under this, we can see register user table. In this table, we can see a table column like register user ID, user name, user email, user password, user activation code, user email status, user OTP and user date time. In this table, Register user data will be stored under this table. In this table, we will store password in hash format. This is our working folder. And in this folder, we can see index.php file and email verify.php file. Here we can also see class directory and under this, we have store php mailer class file. First we have open index.php file. And in this file, we have already included jQuery and bootstrap library file. Under file, we have to make register form. So here we have write form tag, with method is equal to post. For enter user name details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to user name and class is equal to form control. Same way for enter user email address details, here we have write input type is equal to email. Name is equal to user email, and class is equal to form control. And for enter password details, here we have write, input type is equal to password, name is equal to user password, and class is equal to form control. Under this form, Lastly for submit form data, here we have write, input type is equal to submit, name is equal to register, and value is equal to click to register, 
so user can submit register details by click on this button. Now we have moved to write PHP code. So here first we want to make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class object with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to local host. Database name is equal to testing. In second argument, we have write root. And in third argument, we have write blank value. This code will make MySQL database connection. After making database connection, we have defined seven variable, like dollar message, dollar error user name, dollar error user email, dollar error user password, dollar user name, dollar user email and dollar user password with blank value. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, and under this, we have write dollar post register variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have empty function, and under this function, we have write dollar post user name variable. If this variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar error user name variable is equal to enter name. But suppose, dollar post user name variable has some value, then it will execute else block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar user name variable is equal to trim function, and under this function, we have write dollar post user name variable. This function will remove space from left and right side. Below this, we have write dollar user name variable is equal to HTML entities function, and under this function, we have write dollar user name variable. This function will convert special variable into HTML entity. For check user email text box data, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write empty function, and under this function, we have write dollar post user email variable. This condition will check if dollar post user email variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar error user email variable is equal to enter email address message. But suppose user has enter email address details, then it will execute else block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar user email variable is equal to trim function. And under this function, we have write dollar post user email variable. Here we have store user email text box data under this local variable. Now, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write not filter variable function with two parameter. In first parameter, we have write dollar user email variable. 
And in second parameter, we have write filter validate email. If user enter email in invalid format, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar error user email variable is equal to enter valid email address message. For check user password data, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write empty function, and under this function, we have write dollar post user password variable. If this variable value is blank, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write, dollar error user password variable is equal to, enter password message. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar user password variable is equal to trim function, and under this, we have write dollar post user password variable. Below this, we have write dollar user password variable is equal to password hash function with two parameter. In first parameter, we have write dollar user password variable and in second parameter we have write password default this function will convert simple text password to hash formatter password so friends in this part we have we have make register form and then after we have validate form data in next part we will insert unique register user data into MySQL table, and then after, we will send email verification email to register user email address, with OTP number. If you have any query or input regarding this part, please comment your query or input in comment box. Or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends. Or even you can also share on social media also.